our top focus is here in the national capital. A day after a cab driver in Delhi was accused of masturbating while a woman passenger was travelling, there has been no action from the Delhi police. It is one of the worst incidents of obscenity in recent times, but the Delhi police, which could have taken so moto action in this case, has not done so, at least so far. The driver is still roaming free. The girl who was riding in the back seat in the taxi for sure cab has not filed a case yet. But her story had created a storm on the social networking sites. The horrifying ordeal has created a huge uproar. The cab service Taxi for Sure has issued a statement saying the driver has been terminated from service and blacklisted, preventing him from future employment in the organized taxi segment. The company claims it has extended full support to the woman passenger. हमारा एक्शन जारी है और हम एक्शन लेते भी रहेंगे उसके लिए जैसा आपको मालूम है कि जो भी जो भी है जो ऐप बेस्ड ऐप बेस्ड टैक्सीज होती हैं ये जब सड़क पे चल रही होती हैं तो ये तय कर पाना कि ये ऐप बेस्ड टैक्सी है बड़ा मुश्किल होता है तो इसके लिए जैसा आपको पहले भी पता है हमने जो है इनको ट्रैप लगा के गिरफ्तार किया था वो हमारी कार्रवाई अभी भी चल रही है और हम आगे भी इसे जारी रखें। तो आई बोले तो टैक्सी पर शो क्या होगा ऑन द नाइट ऑफ जुलाई सेकंड और रफी आर अराउंड नाइन टू थ्री नाइन थर्टी। बाय दिस पॉइंट आई वाज यू नो सर्विंग गेट वर्ड बिकॉज़ ही वाज आल्सो ड्राइविंग रियली रैशली। तो आई आस्क हिम टू सर्व स्लो डाउन एंड ड्राइव प्रॉपर्� when I said this to him, that was the first time I actually directly looked at him and I saw that his hand, one of his hand was like uh, between his uh, legs and I wasn't sure what was happening but then I saw his hands move in a very uh, vigorous, violent way. So I sort of, for, for a second I was shaken aback because it's the last thing you expect as a passenger in a cat but uh, within few seconds I uh, you know, my doubts were confirmed when he repeated the action. So that's when I knew that he is, uh, you know, up to something extremely disgusting, or, you know, right in the cab as he is driving. So I called her outside the house and I asked her to stand next to me, uh, you know, as I confronted the driver. I asked him, Aap kya kar rahe ho? Aapko sharam nahi aati hai? And he said, kya kya nahi na? Batao. So he knew, you know, that uh, there's nothing much that I can say on this spot because he's extremely shameless. So I just threw the money at him and I walked inside and I called up the owner services who directed me to taxi for sure. Now when I called the taxi for sure, the standard response to me was, we'll take a strict action against the driver in the next 24 hours. Well, the complainant there who has been through that horrifying incident just telling us what she went through. We have a caller on the line and we will be asking our viewers to call in and tell us more about if they feel safe while taking a taxi anymore, be it Delhi or other parts of the country. Uh, Mr. Sudhir calling in from Pune. Sudhir, go ahead. Yeah, I would just like to say, you know, uh, this keeps on happening every, you know, quite to it actually. Why are we not serious about safety uh, of women actually? I mean, how many more incidents would it take for us to realize that this thing should not happen at all? I mean, there's, there should be an end to all these things. I mean, every now and then we have such incidents keep on happening. Okay, fine, uh, these companies that have come up, they do business. But that, does that mean that they, they would really ignore the safety issues of women around, uh, women customers? I mean, is it fair enough for, uh, for, for women customers actually? I mean, how many more incidents will we tolerate? I mean, will we have to see? And I mean, it, there has to be an end to this thing. All right. Thanks for calling in, Sudhir. Pertinent uh, points raised by you there. Our correspondent, Anusha Soni, also joins us live from the national capital. Anusha, this is a horrifying story, but what really adds to the horror of this incident is the fact that no suo moto action has been taken against the driver in question. Well, that's absolutely correct. And, uh, you know, there is yet to be a formal complaint that will be filed by the Delhi police because the girl hasn't approached the police yet. Uh, she's saying she's waiting for the taxi operators uh, to take some action on this. And uh, as you rightly pointed out before, this is not the first time an incident like this has come out. Interesting, interestingly, today, the Delhi High Court has also set aside the order of the Delhi government in which it had banned these application-based cab services. 
Now the Delhi High Court order. After this order, most of these cab operators, taxi for sure, Ola, Uber, all of them now can operate freely. Now the basic contention of the Delhi government was the same that these taxi operators need to submit the details of their drivers, which is necessary for ensuring the security of its passengers. Right, Anusha, do stay with me. We have a caller from Noida, Siddhant, calling in. Siddhant, go ahead. Yeah, hi. Uh, actually, I mean, this is a serious issue. I have heard about it earlier also in Uber cabs. We saw the scene over there. And there have been a number of cases. I mean, I don't know what authority is doing. Uh, authority is doing about this thing. They are not verifying the documents. They are not checking the driver's background. And of this, uh, such kind of complaint, there is no reaction or there is no... Uh, I mean, the, the response is not there from the company. I mean, how can you run a company without having a social background? Yes. I mean, we are very concerned about our women in Delhi. Mm -hmm. Like my sister or mother, if they have to hire a cab, I have to think about it twice. I mean, it's a big question on authorities, really. High time now. All right, Siddhant, you make a very valid point there. Thanks for calling in. We also have Kirti calling in from Delhi. Kirti, do you take taxis? Do you feel unsafe? Yeah. Yeah, hi, hi, Preeti. Uh, I'm uh, deeply concerned about what just happened, uh, you know, with that uh, young girl in the cab, since I'm also a mother of twin daughters. And I personally feel that uh, we should take some proactive action uh, so that we can avoid this in incident. I have a suggestion. Why can't we put some kind of a camera uh, inside the taxis, uh, especially these taxis which are operating in Delhi or anywhere in the nation, uh, so that the uh, security of these girls can be ensured and they should be temper-proof so that the taxi drivers uh, are unable to, uh, you know, do anything uh, wrong while, while you know, uh, their, their criminal mindsets uh, suddenly, you know, uh, come up in their minds and they want to do some kind of a mistreat to a, a lady passenger. Mm -hmm. So that's a suggestion that I would like to give that can we do some kind of a monitoring, some kind of a camera inside the cab which is, if it is possible, it would, you know, save a lot of, lot of young ladies and women from, you know, going through so much. So, yes. uh, that's, that's what I would like to, uh, you, know, you know, say in this matter. All right, Kirti, thanks for calling in there. It is a growing menace, not only in Delhi, but across India. And this is a huge safety concern now, as far as these taxis are concerned. Anusha is still with us. Anusha, the fear also at this moment would be that since no legal action has been taken against the driver in question who was working with taxi for sure, the commuter in this case who has taken to a social networking sites to go ahead and talk about her ordeal could be feeling a bit unsafe at this point in time with the police taking no action. Absolutely correct. As far as the legal action is concerned, please understand there are two parts to it. Mm -hmm. One is the fact that the Delhi government can go ahead and, uh, you know, ban these taxi services like Uber, Ola. But that is step one. The central government needs to step in. Most of these app-based services are application-based, controlled by the Ministry of Information and Technology. The traffic in the city of Delhi is controlled by the central government. Now, these are the two important subjects. Now, till the time, Delhi government and the central government, both of them come together and act upon it, we will not be able to see any substantive action on this issue. Uh, the, the central government also needs to come forward and ensure that these app-based services are not allowed any services till the verification of its drivers takes place. Now, this has been one of the key demands, not only of the passengers, but also of the most of the, you know, people concerned, activists, even of the Delhi government. So, this is a, a law and order concern which just does not concern the immediate cases we are dealing with, but also the broader security of women and the children uh, and other people uh, as far as these app-based, uh, you know, taxi services are concerned. Anusha, do stay with me. Another caller, this time from Bengaluru, Usha Rao calling in. Usha, what do you have to say? Yes, good afternoon. You know, as a woman, I have never felt safe traveling alone in a taxi, especially during late evening. I avoid traveling alone in a taxi even during the day unless it is absolutely necessary. And now after hearing and reading about so many unsavory incidents about the driver's behavior, I'm absolutely paranoid. And I think many of these uh, incidents are happening in Delhi, but you know, still that has a psychological impact even on many of us women living here in Bangalore. And unless the authorities rein in these errant drivers and strict punishment is meted out to the offenders, traveling by taxi is going to be a traumatic experience for us women. And I can well imagine what the lady in the latest incident must be going through, especially about her and her family's safety, you know. 
Absolutely, Usha. Thanks for calling in. Till we don't have stern uh, laws and strict action taken against such people, it will not act as a deterrent against people that we're talking about, like in this case, the driver of the taxi for sure cab. But we have some breaking news coming in on this story. Delhi police sources have told India today that they are yet to receive a formal complaint and that they're still gathering all details and will then approach the complainant as well as her family. Anusha Soni is still with us. Anusha, that's the latest development that uh, the Delhi police seems to be now gathering some details to go ahead and uh, help the complainant in this case. Well, absolutely correct. Uh, as we had pointed out, uh, there, there is yet to be a formal complaint by the victim. The victim has not filed an official complaint. The company has been given some time to act uh, against, uh, you know, the, 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 the driver who, ha who has been alleged uh, in this incident. However, the victim is always open to not only, uh, you know, approach the company concerned, but also go ahead and lodge a complaint uh, with the Delhi police. Also, you know, one of the interesting points to bring here would be that not just in India, most of these app-based services have has faced a problem globally and internationally when it comes to the safety and security because of their ad hoc nature in which we they engage with the drivers and the cabs. Right, Anusha, do stay with me. Another caller, Mr. Vikas, calling in from Bangalore. Vikas, what do you have to tell us? Well, uh, you see, I have been watching your program. Mm -hmm. Taxi for sure have been one such company, you know, which uh, needs to get hauled up. Uh, I would like to draw your attention that uh, lady passenger by the name of Sanjana, mm -hmm. who is a colleague of mine, had to face very rough weather in Pune because the taxi driver had sped away with her belongings and it's after great persuasion uh, with the police and the press that the taxi driver had to own up and this was with Taxi For Sure. Taxi For Sure have not uh, done this kind of a thing for the first time. You see, they have been indulging in these aberrations for quite some time and I think these taxi services, uh, these cab services need to be hauled up because there has to be some code of conduct or some kind of rule regulations which need to get enforced because, uh, you know, they are getting away, whether it is taxi, uh, Uber or Ola or anybody. So right. they are becoming pretty incorrigible. All so right, I, and, you know, this incident came out in Pune Mirror just a couple of days ago mm -hmm. about a lady passenger's uh, belongings having been stolen and then subsequently they were returned All right. and uh, this is what has happened the guy sped away the lady passenger was left absolutely in askins at uh, pune airport and she uh, didn't have the money she somehow the other managed to get a flight uh, she suffered i mean uh, a professional loss in the course of this and that's, that's a horrifying sure. story because that you tell us that is a very very disturbing story